Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to my Fallout Shelter Survival Mode, The Perfect Start 2021. And this is the first episode, so here we go. Voltec Priority Alert. We've detected that you have opted into our most rigorous and hazardous social experiment. What's more, once you proceed along this course, there's no going back. As there's no time to perform a complete psychological evaluation, Voltec will have to assume you're in complete control of your faculties and fully understand. Okay, so here we go. Congratulations. I've given it the number 999 because the uh, number for the emergency services here in the United Kingdom is 999. So, this is a survival mode Fallout Shelter Perfect Start series. Now, the actual Perfect Start of this is very similar uh, to my Perfect Start series for a normal vault. However, you will immediately see some differences. So, here we go. Let's load the vault and start right from the beginning. Which of course means we get all these lovely helpful tips, which we don't need. So, power generator underneath that uh, residence on the uh, first floor. Okay. And okay. And here we go. Some dwellers are starting to arrive. Uh, let's have a look at the stats. Well, he's high on strength, so he's obviously going to be going to the power room. Well, duh. Okay, drag him, drop him. We know the routine from here. Again, Next person, drag and drop. Okay. Happiness is at a measly 50% at the moment, but our first two dwellers are in the vault and they're heading to the power generator, so we know what comes next, don't we? That's building the water treatment facility and the diner. So there we go. Double click a room to take a closer look. If you're in dire need of extra resources, you can use the rush mode. Yes, but in survival mode, rushing is almost a guarantee of strange activities happening. But here we go, rush and success. So now we've got a nice chunk of power. There we go. We've got a few extra cabs. And let's build the diner. Bosch and water treatment facility. We know where that's going. It's going on the left-hand side there, next to the power room. There we go, build. Bosch. Okay. Now the one uh, thing with survival mode is taking one's time. This is not something to rush and get all the extra dwellers uh, for because what you'll do is you'll just end up with death claws that will just kill everyone in your vault. Because as soon as you get over I think it's 32 dwellers, uh, whereas in the normal mode it's over 65 dwellers or whatever it is. Um, might be slightly less than that actually or more I can't remember the exact figure off my head right now um, but put it this way the number for survival mode is way layer lower and the number of events that you get so fires rad roaches and raiders is much higher yep there we go complete objectives to earn caps yep that's lovely right that person's perception so they're going to the water treatment facility there we go so everyone's heading off to their allocated rooms now what we're going to immediately do is expand the power generator room and let's have a look we've got some extra peeps here so strength one oh pathetic but that's fine that's three dwellers in there and two in each of the other rooms and now we've got some exclamations okay so assign two dwellers we've got 25 caps collect 50 water and we're going to get our lunchbox successfully rush one room for another lunch box so early on of course we get lots of nice little lunch boxes so uh, let's uh, move to uh, get those uh, done so let's rush for no let's not okay so water treatment facility we want to rush this in a minute maybe because we want 50 water and power as well so the 33 percent chance of uh, disaster out oh, and here we go we've got a disaster already so when a rush fails or randomly in any room so we've got a rad roach attack Luckily, everyone in survival mode comes with a gun. Uh, not good guns, albeit, but they do come with guns. So all we can hope for is those early lunch boxes provide some decent firepower, because we'll need those to go out on quests uh, once we've unlocked the overseer's uh, office. Now, health on this is a much bigger issue. Um, so they've already lost health now because of that rad roach attack. And even over the course of this initial 30-minute video, you're going to see some people coming very close to death um, so yeah okay we've got another dweller on his way to the vault so that's our eighth dweller 
Let's have a look. Agility. Oh no, no, sorry, clicked on the wrong person there. So she's fairly even killed across the board, so we can pop her straight into the power room. Just use the last available space for dwellers in the vault. Well, we need to build uh, more accommodation, so living quarters build. There we go. Plop it down there. Okay. Now collect the water. So we've got some eight water there. Whoop de doo. So rush the room. That's going to be worth doing. So rush and activate. Success. Woohoo! And we successfully rushed one room. So we've got a lunchbox. Okay. Lunchbox Arena. Let's check it out. Oh, yes, we just earned a lunchbox. Okay, collect that food as well. Yeah, yeah, need more dwellers, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we'll unlock this first initial lunchbox and cross our fingers. So a stim pack, mm, handy. 100 caps, handy. Lever action rifle, nice. Yao guy hide, not useful at the moment. Oh, and 500 addi additional caps, lovely. Okay, right, so what we do now is we pop into the build menu and we build an additional living quarters here and we demolish the other one. Okay, close that for now. Click on here. Yep, male and female dwellers within the living quarters have a chance of making babies. Yeah, not now, thank you. Right, so destroy that for 20 caps. So we've blown up the uh, living quarters on the top floor because it's a daft location. Now uh, let's expand the diner. There we go and also expand the uh, water treatment facility as well so build so they're all two by twos now that should also encourage some additional dwellers to arrive from the wasteland because it is the beginning uh, so we need to collect more water we need to level up one dweller and send one dweller to the wasteland for 25 caps well that's fairly easy all you need to do is literally send them out the door get your 25 caps bring them back in again they don't actually need to go exploring anywhere at the beginning Ah, here we go, another dweller. Most important resource is power. The more rooms you build, the more power you need. Power gauge turns red, rooms start shutting down, and then those don't produce resources. Well, we've hit red power. So what's his? His strength, that's handy. Let's put him into the uh, power generator room. And rush. Fingers crossed it will be successful. Yes, it has been. Good, that's boosted our power up. Got four minutes till that uh, redoes it. Additional storage rooms or upgrade your existing storage rooms to get more space. Yep, well, we can't even build a storage room yet, so. Okay. Get rid of that notification. Okay, we'll pop down the elevator. Oh, and look at that, the room's on fire. It's like you've done something, so we're going to give you hell. Oh, now all the other rooms are on fire and the initial room's not on fire, which means that guy's now on his own trying to put out the fire in the diner. So bring them back. Those guys are fighting the fire well. There we go. They're going to fight the fire. But again, health incrementally creeping downwards. Okay. That's it. Fire's out. So we've still got to collect uh, more water. There's only two people in there. But we do get 18 water each time. There's only two minutes until it next generates. Yep, Radaways and Stimpaks. We all know that information. Of course, if you've been watching my series. So rest, Rusty Lever Action Rifle is in uh, storage at the moment. So let's see. Uh, that guy's got a gun that only does three damage. So let's swap it over. Uh, that person's got a pistol. That person's got a pistol. Uh, two to three. Let's guarantee him three damage. Oh dear, he's got a BB rifle, so let's give him the uh, pistol. Okay, that other chap had a pistol, didn't he? Okay, so that's some weaponry swapped round, uh, so for a bit of prioritisation. Uh, now what we're doing really is waiting for resources um, and maybe some additional dwellers to arrive at the vault because we can't even build the storage room yet. We need 12 dwellers and we only have 9. So it's called Play the Waiting Game, and of course there's no speed up on this, um, which is something that I think may be missing. Uh, a lot of games do have it, you know, you can hold down Control key to accelerate time um, to make things go by quicker, uh, which you can't do in this game. It doesn't really matter too much, uh, but it does mean sitting around and waiting for things to happen. 
especially in an introduction video to survival mode like this, it's very possible you get bored and turn off the video. But then a rad roach infestation happens and our guys are back at work shooting stuff. Okay, so they've got two rad roaches to kill. Off they go. And of course, more health decrease. Which is always good fun. Now, here we go. Another dweller coming in. So Ashley has mm, intelligence higher than everything else and next is agility and perception. So we can put her in the water treatment facility, get those numbers up. So that's three, three and four. So we've got space for two more people. Okay, she's got a hunting rifle, nice. Does five damage. So she's fairly well equipped already. Now our bars at the top aren't looking particularly healthy. In fact, power's just about to uh, slip under but we are ready to collect almost, so that's not too bad. Now, we could try, it's 34%, so let's give it a rush, see what happens, and we were successful. And we've collected 50 water, boom, another lunchbox. Let's collect that, lovely. Sell one weapon is the next thing that we need to do. Indeed, so here we go, uh, let's get this lunchbox open. Okay, and see what we've got inside. 50 power, lovely, that's handy. Teddy bear, some cats. Asian provocateur outfit. A rusty Gatling laser, 21 damage, boom. Yes, most definitely, that is beneficial. Oh, and look at that rad roach infestation, of course. And by the time this person gets over there, which is why I'm only moving one, uh, gonna go to the other room. Yeah, there we go. Boom. And they've now gone to the other rooms and the person with the good gun is now in the wrong room. Okay, back you go and insta-kill those things. Okay, why did you need to walk all the way to the other side? There we go, insta-death. Lovely. Okay, so there we go. Not too bad. We're up to 10 dwellers and uh, it's normal to get about 12 at the beginning. Uh, so what do we need to do? Sell one weapon or outfit, level up one dweller, and send a dweller out to the wasteland. So leveling up, we can see that everyone's kind of halfway-ish. Laura Hale and Gerald Robinson, they're both a bit more ahead of the others, uh, so they'll probably be the first ones to level up. Oh, we've got another dweller coming in from the wasteland. Okay, yep, that's that lovely Gatling laser, 21 damage, nice. Okay, nothing better, but give that one the laser gun, that should have swapped that over, yep, okay, because obviously we want the more powerful weapons at the top of the shelter, this one's got a little pop pop pistol, uh, again no specific trait that is better than the others, so she can go into the water treatment facility with perception 2, that gives us a 443, okay, okay. So, little pop-pop pistol there, not very good one to do damage. Uh, better than the BB gun that we've got in supply, so we will deal with that as is. Uh, so that's now 11 dwellers in the vault. Oh, and we've got another rad roach infestation. Luckily in the room with the big gun, so, but for some reason, let's run all the way to the right-hand side again, rather than just shooting immediately. But there we go, more XP for those guys. That'll get us closer to leveling up one dweller, which will get us another lunchbox. Now, food is sitting there pretty low, but we've only got 20 seconds, and we're going to get 18 more, so that will top it up. Water's doing okay, and power is now not an issue. So power is doing completely all right. Uh, it's just water is now very good as well. It's just that food. Okay, she's got the hunting rifle. Uh, that's a lever action rifle. So that person's still got a BB gun. That person's got a little pop pop gun. Let's move her to there though. Because food is taking more priority than water at the moment. And this is all about micromanaging your vault in the early, early days of this uh, to make sure that you don't fail and you don't have everyone dying. Okay, so again, no particular special stat is better than anything else. Perception's only one so really would be better in a different room. Uh, agility is also one, so it's really strength, 
but that means we also need to look at our other vault dwellers. Okay, so move her there for now. Okay, move her to there. And then drag her back when she comes out the elevator. Oh, look, let's get a starter pack. No, thank you. Okay, for now. Okay, and put her back up for strength two. So that's now four, 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 and four, and we have unlocked the storage room. So that gives us extra capacity for stuff from quests and obviously uh, storing stuff. Oh, look, another rad roach infestation. Let's get her to run over there, and her as well. Oh, and they've now moved to different rooms, so let's move them back again. Drag back, and drag back. And yep, health is approaching 50%, less than 50% now for those two. Uh, getting a bit more on the uh, closer to death side. Uh, gonna have to keep an eye on that, otherwise we're gonna end up with a dead dweller. Okay. So level-wise, mm, Brandon, Gerald, they're getting closer to leveling up. Health-wise, Ryan is getting pretty low there. So let's give him the only stim pack that we've got. Destroy rocks to expand your vault. Yes, we already know that. Okay, let's increase the power generator room to a 3x3. Okay, and let's also expand the diner to a 3x3 three three as well. That gives us a bit of extra food and much more storage capacity. So there we go. We've now got a 3x3 three three diner and a 3x3 three three power room. Don't know why I'm saying 3x3. Three three. It's a 1x3. Uh, a it's only on one floor. You don't do multi-floor rooms in this game, so I don't know why I'm saying 3x3. Three three. Yep, building two or three of the same room type next to each other, they merge together, yes. So that's what we've done. But as you can see, we've had a lot more incidents than you would normally have for the basic game, so survival mode is more challenging. Some of our dwellers are approaching low health. Let's send this one out to explore. Yep, we know that. We need to really equip them with stuff, but we're not going to because the person's literally going to go out the door and come back again just so that we get the extra 25 caps and tick off that, uh, that thing that we need to do. So out she goes. That's another thing as well, upgrading the vault door. That's something that we'll focus on. So there we go. So recall, close, and we got our 25 caps. There we go. Yep, that's another, yep. Okay. So back she comes. Now we need to collect nothing and drag her back to the power room. There we go. Okay, so what objectives do we have? Sell one weapon or outfit. Well, we can do that because we've got a BB gun. So let's uh, do that. We don't need that BB gun. So we've got two of those. So sell one. Okay. There we go. So we've sold the weapon or outfit. That's another 25 caps. Thank you very much. And let's have a look. So collect 100 power is the next. That will get us 50 caps. Lunch boxes for that level up one dweller. And collect 50 food will give us 25 caps. So the 75 caps for play and a lunch box, which is what we're focusing on. Happiness is now 85%. Oh, look at that. Now our room's on fire. Just doesn't stop, does it? doesn't stop in this survival mode it's just relentless absolutely relentless again she has to walk all the way to the opposite side of the room for some reason there we go let's get the fire put out please there we go some more experience lovely okay smoke damage slowly disappears Okay, Brandon's getting much closer to level four, level six, as is Gerald. So they're leveling up nice and easy. Got two minutes until power. Let's rush it, 33%, because that'll get some extra XP as well. So boom, there we go. Extra XP. Now go and have another look. Yep, getting closer. So again, this is it. This is the early game. This is what it's all about. It's all about keeping them alive 
and trying to get those early objectives completed to get yourself your lunch boxes and your caps and that's the important aspect so you'll see at the moment I haven't done any breeding I haven't put the dwellers into the living quarters to create any babies because at this point in the game that's more detrimental to uh, your development of the vault you want to make sure that everything remains nice and healthy so the diner there we food is the worst one at the moment we're at 88% happiness which is good you can have a look at the people in the room so four out of six and you can see Shirley there is very low on health so Shirley is getting a little bit too close for comfort towards the sides of death so we're gonna have to watch out and protect her to make sure she doesn't die so any events that happen in the room oh, look at that another room on fire my goodness it's like a constant battle with events this vault is like one of the most unreliable vaults on the planet the number of times it's caught fire recently and the rad roach infestations that we keep getting but that's the idea it's survival mode it's supposed to be challenging okay so build wise our next one is 14 dwellers for the med bay now it would be worth getting a couple of extra babies just so that we can unlock the med bay so we can start getting stim packs but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's make sure we're in a good position first and everything is ticking over nicely and we're not in any overly challenging positions because once you have a pregnant dweller, she is unable to fight uh, and is of no help at all while pregnant. So what you're actually better doing is uh, creating the pregnancy, logging out of the game, waiting the three arbitrary hours it takes for the baby to become available, can't log back into the game, give birth to the baby, then log back out again for another three hours so that, that baby becomes an adult and then log back in again and you minimize your risk of um, losing your dwellers so again it's the patience game here see rad roach infestation another infestation but again quickly dealt with because that heavy gun was in there so that's all good so again we are just piecemeal watching what's going on uh, waiting really for the level up uh, which is going to take a while. Let's put on the Asian Provocateur outfit, Intelligence plus four. So when we get the Med Bay, that will come in very handy uh, so that she can go and start creating stim packs. And we'll only need uh, a single Med Bay to begin with, so just one. Uh, and then obviously we'll expand it later on because the expanding doesn't create additional storage, of course. All it does is it increases your ability to produce the stim packs which I always found slightly interesting that you needed to buy and build multiple med bays uh, to actually get your uh, storage capacity up. Okay, so no pets, couple of bits of junk, no spare outfits, uh, so there we go. Again, storage room, we might as well put one in because we will need it, so let's put the storage bay in. There we go room full of rats I'm surprised the room hasn't spontaneously hey I spoke too soon rad roach infestation of course now this one isn't affecting our power food or water uh, so we'll wait for them to move to a different room here we go and now these guys can deal uh, some punishing firepower to kill off the rad roaches uh, hopefully without dying let's move her over there She's going to suffer by not getting the XP bonus, but at the same time, we don't want her to die, do we? So, Okay, there we go. Dealt with. She goes back in. And, oh, sad face. Little sad face is coming off from the top of her head there. Uh, mainly because she's nearly dead. Uh, I think I'd be a little bit unhappy if I was nearly dead as well. Uh, so health recovers over time so something that uh, will happen is because at the end of this video I log out of the vault uh, and won't log back into it again for a few hours just let everyone's health recover uh, and then we can start the whole fight again and record part two of this series so I've added this onto my fallout shelter playlist and I've created a new fallout shelter playlist so fallout shelter survival series uh, perfect start uh, so don't forget to subscribe uh, and click the notification bell for the uh, the new series uh, to make sure that you keep up to date. I will be carrying on with the original Fallout Shelter series as well, uh, which you should know we're at part 25 if you've been watching it, uh, and have them running in tandem. So I will carry on this series the same way I have with my original Fallout series, 
and get the vault up and running in the best possible way uh, so that we can get to 100 dwellers in a survival series vault. So collect 100 power, we're nearly there, uh, so not too bad. Look at that, mm, level 5 nearly, oh look at that, Gerald Robinson is kicking the ass off of uh, getting to level 6 there, but 43% risk of an incident, mm, we'll give it a miss. I know obviously the incident will also give a boost to XP, uh, but we can just wait, because he's very nearly ready to level up, so not too shabby. Ah, oh, screw it, let's, let's rush. Oh, it was successful. That was lucky. And we've collected the 100 power. Boom, 50 caps. See, that was a risk, but it was worth it because, look at that, nearly ready to level up. And that will get us our lunchbox. And once we've opened that lunchbox, it's where we will end part one of this video series. Uh, any questions you have, as always, comment. And I'm always uh, prompt to reply. Well, as prompt as I can be. Um, so, another fire, of course. Don't know why I even bothered moving the person, but oh yes, she's the low healther, isn't she? Is she the low healther? Mm, no, I don't think she is. No, no, low health is over there, slowly dying. Oh dear, look at the health. Whoo! She is very, very nearly dead. That could have been disastrous. Oh, and we've collected 50 food as well. Boom, another 25 caps. Lovely. So all we're waiting for now, oh, equip one dweller with an outfit for a lunchbox. Well, we can do that, can't we? So remove her outfit and put it back on again. And there we go. Equip a dweller with an outfit and we've got a lunchbox. So let's get to opening it and hope for some good stuff. Okay, what do we get? We get bespoke attire and a Yao Gai hide. 500 caps, lovely. One rad away. Oh, enhanced combat shotgun. Mmm, tasty. Oh, and we're ready to level up as well. Boom. And we've got another lunchbox. What a good way to end today's video. Okay, so let's drop in this one as well. And see what we get. So, 50 food. Lovely. Military duct tape, that will come in handy way later. Rusty laser rifle, getting some good guns, that's important. Oh, and Ryan, da Ryan Davidson, okay, cool. Okay, so now what we can do is equip some better armor, armed guns. So let's give her the enhanced combat shotgun. Go up here and give him the rusty laser rifle. There we go, collect 25 caps more as well for doing that. And we've got another dweller outside the vault, which of course is the one from the lunchbox. Give him some bespoke attire. Uh, collect the water and bring him in uh, to there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I do hope you've enjoyed part one. This guy's unarmed, so let's just give him the pistol. I'm Know It All Gaming. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, feel free to comment and I shall reply as quickly as I possibly can. Until next time, I'm Know-It-All Gaming, see you then.